Hello parents and welcome back. My name is Katie McCauley and I'm one of the ELA instructional coaches here in Upper Darby. Last week I talked to you about the difference between fictional text and non-fictional text and now we're ready to take a closer look at one of these genres. We are going to start by looking at the key skills related to fictional text. When we introduce fictional stories within the classroom, we start by talking about the literary elements or plot of the story. Literary elements are all of the things that are being introduced in the beginning of the story and then are developing as the story unfolds. This includes the characters, the setting, and the conflict. As the story starts to get underway, we use terms like rising action, climax, and falling action to describe the plot. We want students to understand that the events in a story, the plot events, are what move it from beginning to middle to end, much like what you see here in this anchor chart for plot. It's like a roller coaster. The events in the rising action of this story are the events that are building tension. They're leading to the climax, or the turning point of the story where everything is going to shift. This is where there are big changes for the characters in their attitudes and their thoughts and their actions. The falling action, as we describe it to students in class, are the events that unfold after the climax has taken place, and they are what lead us to our conclusion. So how can we use this information to help guide our discussions at home and make sure that we are having meaningful talks with our kids about fictional text? Here are some really great questions to help you at home to have some meaningful conversations with your child as they finish or wrap up reading a story. When we're talking about plot, we want our children to be able to give us the surface information of what they've read, but also to think deeper. We'll ask questions like, who are the characters? But thinking deeply, we'll ask them to describe the characters as well, not just how they look, but their attitudes, their actions, and how they seem as people. We're going to ask your children things like, when does the story take place? And thinking deeper, how do you know that that's when and where it's taking place? What clues are we finding within the text? We can get to the conflict of the story by asking them about the problems that the characters are facing. When we think about what problem the character is up against in a story, we can identify the main conflict. And then, as the story is wrapping up and they reach the end, we want to ask them, what was the resolution? How did this close? Did everything get solved or worked out? And we want to talk with them about how the story has changed from beginning to middle to end. So these are some just really good guiding questions to help you have those discussions at home whenever your child is working with fictional text. So we encourage you to speak with them, engage with them, and help them to dive into some books um, and really throw themselves into some fictional wonderful stories. 